Hi, I'm Beth from Abe Books, and today I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to do a head-to-head -head compare and contrast of two similar books I recently read. I went on a bit of a funny woman kick, starting with Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, which I loved, but that's for another video. Today I'm going to talk about two books. One is by comedian Sarah Silverman, and it's called The Bedwetter, Stories of Courage, Redemption, and Pee. And the other is by Roseanne Barr, and it's called Roseanarchy, Dispatches from the Nut Farm. The two books are quite similar in that the women have very similar back backgrounds. They both grew up Jewish-American, trying to break into the male-dominated comedy industry and build a name and carve a niche out for themselves, first in stand-up comedy and later in television writing. But the similarities of the book really basically end there. Sarah Silverman's book, from the get-go, considering that she's famous for being filthy and vulgar beyond the telling of it and using shock in a lot of her comedy, was actually very endearing and sincere and sweet. She talks a lot about her childhood and how she grew up really awkward, wetting the bed until much later than most children do, hence the title, and talks about her family and her background and the people that helped make her career with a lot of fondness and some very funny stories. I laughed out loud a lot while reading it and would definitely recommend it. The second book, Roseanarchy, Dispatches from the Nut Farm. I brought this on myself. It's called Dispatches from the Nut Farm, and that should have been telling. While I think Roseanne Barr is brilliant and I'm interested in her business and she seems like a confident, funny lady, she's also a total nut job and that comes across very strongly throughout the pages. Every now and then, just as she's getting on a really good point about politics, much of which I agree with, or about the state of the world in general, she'll veer off into some completely disjointed conspiracy theory that suddenly just makes you wonder what she's smoking. I did enjoy the book and it did make me laugh a few times, and clearly I read the whole thing so it must have something going for it, but it felt a little bit like a car accident. I didn't want to look, but I couldn't stop. Of the two, Sarah Silverman's Bedwetter is definitely your best bet. Thanks a lot.